All right, everyone. We have made it. We are here at the Nintendo store. So I was gonna do uh, a little weird, cringy intro to me arriving to the store. Basically, I was gonna do a replica of what Alex did when he started his series, but I just felt like I shouldn't have done that. So I'm not gonna do that, but we're finally here. This will be my third time going into the store. Um, this time will be more special because now I can buy whatever I want. So this is probably gonna be the most expensive video that I've ever made because of how much money I'm probably gonna spend it. I'm kind of scared to go in there because I feel like I'm gonna spend a ridiculous amount of money. But uh, everyone knows what the Nintendo store looks like. How we're gonna run this video is you guys are gonna see my reactions to picking up things, all that type of stuff. So let's head into the Nintendo store. I am very excited about this. Guys, I'm going to spend a ridiculous amount of money. They have a Mario Kart jacket. Look at this. How much is this? $100. Oh my goodness gracious. I gotta have one of these jackets though. This is like the coolest jacket ever. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in here too. This is gonna be awesome. There would be signs in my house. If I ever won the lottery, there would be signs that I was rich. I would never tell anybody I won the lottery, but there would definitely be signs. You would see stuff like this. So obviously they have a giant selection of Nintendo Switch games. This is pretty cool to see. However, I'm probably not going to buy anything here. Just in terms of games, games. Just because uh, when you come to the Nintendo store, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're gonna be pretty much everything $60. And they kind of have like, not the biggest selection in terms of Switch games. Like they have more of the, just the normal stuff you would see at a retail store. I think it would be interesting to see how much they're selling Balan Wonderworld, because this is a game that you can buy for like $5 right now. And they're selling it for $60. Balan Wonderworld being a $60 game still is crazy. So that tells me that I don't want to buy anything gaming in terms of the Switch stuff. Uh, but I thought that it's pretty cool to see what type of games they have. Uh, I mean, it's crazy to see. Mortal Kombat in a Nintendo store, if you know the history about Mortal Kombat being on a Nintendo console in the first place. Okay, something I want to point out quickly over there. They do have a lot of what we've been calling rare Switch games uh, that you can't find at actual retail stores. So if you've been paying attention to that series, you'll notice some of the games, mainly on the top shelf, that we've been talking about that you should be on the lookout for uh, for rare Switch games. So this is a huge selection of Amiibos that they have here. Uh, some of these Amiibos, I've, I mean, I own these Amiibos. I, I own all of these Amiibos up here, except these four right here. Uh, so I guess that's either a weird flex or a sad flex. I don't know, that'll be, you guys in the comments can decide. But I mean, this is cool to see. Uh, it took me forever to find this one, because uh, obviously this was the main one I would have wanted to have in my collection. And just to see it casually just sitting here is uh, really cool to see. Uh, but the ones I'm thinking about getting are these Mario Odyssey ones. Now, I, a lot of people think I hate Mario Odyssey. People take my words out of context of that game. Mario Odyssey is a good game. It's not my favorite Mario game. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. But I might buy these Amiibos here because I think it's cool to be able to buy an Amiibo in the Nintendo store. Last time I was here, I was able to get uh, like Rosalina and Luma here. The cool thing about if you're getting into Amiibo collecting and you're in the New York area, this is the best place to find these Amiibos because you can find them for retail price. The Nintendo store doesn't scalp the prices and they get all the restocks because uh, a lot of the stores will have like GameStop restock exclusives. If there's a GameStop restock happening, the Nintendo store is gonna get it. So that's how I was able to get a lot of my Amiibos last time I was here in New York. I bought like 12 Amiibos when I was here. And it just goes to show, because they have so many of the hard to find Amiibos. I think Shulk is still hard to find, so the fact that it's got plenty right here is really cool. And uh, very awesome. Last year, bro, we came 
thing about this link statue I'm pretty sure it is the PAX East statue I think this they were showing this statue off at PAX last year for Tears of the Kingdom and I think it was only at that PAX event then they brought it out for when Tears of the Kingdom was about to come out so I think that debuted at one of the PAX events the comments can correct me on that but it's cool to see it here at the Nintendo store yeah So cool. Child's my editor. I know this would be his section right here, the Pikmin section. Statue. So I actually own this t-shirt already. I uh, don't own the one behind it though. So I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon Sword and Shield, but that's cool to have a Charizard statue. I just wish Leon wasn't there. It's like peak beside mid. Not the biggest fan of that. I really wish it was just a Charizard statue. Because if it was just Charizard, I would probably be more inclined to pay that price right there. I guess it's still cool though. Wish they had a different game to play. Wasn't the biggest fan of this game. I mean, it was all right, but I actually almost died over this game. If you guys saw that video, it's actually a true story. Me picking up this game, I, I legit almost died. I can't handle it. One try of beating the game is enough I need. I, I don't want to replay the whole game again. About to go talk to Mario. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really show it because as you can see, the screen goes a little crazy with how they got everything set up here. So you're just gonna see my face talking to Mario. Got some things I need to talk to Mario about. Hello. Hello, Mario. Oh, you're good. Mamma mia, you look like a professional Mario game player. Can you play Mario game? Yeah, you're Yahoo's man. They haven't been the same, bro. I, I don't know. Something happened to your voice? You like Mario Kart? No, no, me, me. No, I don't. Okay. Mama, who do you like to drive as in a Mario Kart? Uh, Charles Martinet is who I like to drive as in Mario Kart. Ah, me, me too. When you have a play in Mario Kart, I always say, woohoo, because I'm super super happy to see you. Mamma mia. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, hey, what other game do you like to play? Uh, What's that? Super Smash Brothers. E me, I think so too. Who do you think is the best Smash Bro? Shulk. One more time for Mario. Shulk. What other, what other game do you like to play? Uh, nothing else, nothing else. Your Yahoo's have just not been the same, Mario. That's all I wanted to say. Sorry. Something I wanted to quickly show is the Pokemon side of the Nintendo store. 
has become a lot smaller than the last few times that I've been. Normally, there's a lot more Pokemon stuff, like a lot more bushes. There's like miniature bushes behind you, but not much Pokemon stuff compared to the previous times. Like, there used to be a lot more of a bigger selection of plushes, and they weren't like small ones, they were like bigger ones. Uh, so, I am a fan of that, because uh, I feel like they had too much Pokemon stuff last time I was here, so the fact that they're lowering it and focusing on more other Nintendo properties, I think is pretty cool. Like, Pikmin didn't have its own section last time I was here, uh, so I think that's really cool. I don't know, guys, should I get this? I don't know why I put it on my head. There's probably lice on here, so... Probably gonna come back to North Carolina with lights, but nonetheless, you get a cool moment of me wearing this. I mean, Gengar was one of my favorite Pokemons, but I don't know. Would people think I'm weird wearing this? Is this supposed to be like a toboggan? I'm guessing. It doesn't say what it is, but I'm assuming this is a toboggan. I don't know. I probably look pretty cool in this. Camera person saying no on this one. I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I, I mean. $25? I mean, it's probably one of the more cheaper items out here, honestly, in the store, so... It's kind of cool. I think normally they have this section over here, but they got the Talking Mario. Normally all the Amiibos are over there, too, but... One of the coolest things I think about the store is they show off every console that they've made. So you got the Nintendo Entertainment System, you got Rob up there, you got the Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, N64 with that very sun faded Mario copy right there. Uh, you got Nintendo GameCube. You got the Color TV, uh, TV Game 15, 1977. Uh, they got even the Japan versions of the NES and Super Nintendo. Uh, then they got their uh, trading cards right here because uh, Nintendo started as a trading card company, for those who did not realize. Then they got more on the other side. They got the Game and Watches right here. I believe that was their first handheld, from my understanding. Um, they got a lot of Game and Watches. Nintendo did so many of those Game and Watches back in the day. Uh, they got all their handhelds are right here. They got Game Boy SP. That one's really cool because it's supposed to be uh, the Famicom colors, so that's really cool. Nintendo DS, Game Boy Micro, DS Lite, DSi, DSi XL, 3DS, 3DS XL. Nintendo 2DS. I believe that might be a new 3DS XL right there. I don't remember exactly. Um, that's the only thing not back here uh, in terms of their handhelds. It's just the, uh, the new versions of the 2DS and the 3DS. Oh, actually, we missed it right here. It's right in front of us. So they do have uh, all of their handhelds right in front of you. They used to have the uh, Game Boy that was like in the war or something that's still working. Uh, I guess it doesn't work anymore since it's no longer at the store. It's kind of sad. They had that thing working for so long. Okay, I found my first big purchase. I am buying this. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, uh, Mio statue. Um, there is not much Xenoblade stuff out there. And uh, I want to get this. It's $108. I, it's sold out on every store that I've seen, so I'm happy paying that. I wish they would make more Xenoblade stuff. They only seem to do it with the Neo, Kyra, and Mithra. They don't do it for any other character for some reason. I wish they would have done a Noah or a Shulk statue, uh, but definitely picking up this because I have to. I mean, I'm a Nato Max Xenoblade channel, you know. Uh, it's cool to see this. I wish there was more Xenoblade stuff out there, though. Definitely picking up that. I think there's Pikmin hidden throughout the whole store, and I think I found some of them right there. I know the Universal uh, Park is like that, where they have the Pikmin hidden throughout the whole park. Don't know if there's any more hidden like that to the store, but that's pretty cool to see. So I just grabbed the Mario t-shirt that was over here. Really cool Mario shirt. There's a lot of people over there, so I can't really show you guys. But I saw these right here. 
I think they're called Nenroids, from my understanding. Um, I've always wanted to get one of these. I've never seen them in store. Like, I've seen them at conventions, but I know there's a lot of things going around that there's people selling fake ones. So I've always been wary about buying these things. I know here at the Nintendo store, they're going to sell nothing but the real ones. They have Mario and Luigi. I'm putting it in the bag, but I'm not totally sure if I'm going to buy it. Um, I'm putting it in the maybe, but I'm probably going to do it, knowing me. Because um, I've always wanted these, and it's Nintendo ones, so they make all sorts of ones. Like any type of media out there, you'll see it. I'm just so weary of buying them because there's so many fake ones out there. So this is really cool. I think I gotta get this. I think I gotta get one of these. The Luigi one over there is tempting too. Um, I think every time I meet Charles Martinet, he's wearing this exact thing. I might be wrong. Camera person, do you happen to know? Because don't the camera person does not know. I have to look back at my photos with Charles Martinet, but I'm pretty sure he wears this when I meet him. So it'd be pretty cool to get that just because of that. Because the photo, I'm pretty sure he wears this in the photo that I've met. Him. But uh, honestly, the t-shirts are fairly priced. $25, that's typically an average t-shirt cost anywhere you go. And some of the stuff that I got is actually $20. So I'm very impressed, uh, impressed with the prices of the store because of a lot of this stuff. There's some things like the games, Val and Wonder World, $60, that's ridiculous. But yeah, I, I'm picking up this for sure. Okay, so it hasn't gone exactly to plan on how I wanted to show you guys how I'm buying stuff. Because uh, downstairs is where a majority of the stuff that I'm buying is at. And there is people everywhere. So, what I'm going to show you is right here. This is where we're at. I'm at two bags. Can we keep it at two bags? Hopefully two bags is where we'll be stuck at. Um, I haven't even gotten the Xenoblade thing upstairs, but this is where we are at right now. Okay, something funny that I think is really cool to show off. They're selling this, they're advertising it as a bowl. I, I'm guessing really, all you could really use this for is popcorn. That's all I can imagine this as. This is it right here. I mean, I just can't imagine putting anything else in here other than popcorn. But I guess that's cool. I just got this mushroom uh, Hello, very comfortable. But uh, would you buy this? This is random. As I was going back upstairs, I saw that they have another Pikmin right there. Okay, I am done, I think, from what I bought. There's three bags, all pretty much full. I don't know how much the total is going to be. I'm upstairs, I'm about to find out. I think for my first time on the trip, first run on the trip, I'm done. I'm probably going to be buying more throughout the week. I'm here for a bit. Uh, let's see what the total is going to be. I'm, I, I don't want to imagine. Last but not least. You want this still in the paper? Uh, you can take off. It's so cool that you guys are selling that. I've never seen yeah. Xenoblade stuff. And yeah, it's random when we get it in, but I mean, I know a lot of people appreciate it, so like, I still gotta get on the game myself. I haven't tried it yet. It's pretty good. Yeah, bro. I've heard nothing but good things. Xenoblade 1 is still my like favorite RPG. I wasn't a fan of 2, but I loved 1 and 3. Yeah. 3 is uh, a mixture of 1 and 2, basically. Oh, that's perfect, then. That's great. Good to know. Are you ready for that QR code? Uh, I will be in two minutes. Oh, oh no, got it. It's a perfect. Okay, cool. So, uh, $697.72 for That's honestly not bad. I thought it was going to be a thousand, so I'm happy with it. All right, we just got out of the Nintendo store. Ended up spending uh, right around $700. This is the bag right here. I spent so much that they had to put it all in this bag, and it is fully full right there. So there is going to be a separate video coming out of what I bought, because there is so much more that I bought than what was shown on camera. And uh, yeah, so that's probably already going to be out before this video comes out. Uh, so yeah, but here it is, the Nintendo Store. So 
so glad we were able to come and get this onto the channel because uh, I've been here. This is like one of the most iconic things for Nintendo. This is what makes New York New York for everyone that comes here. If they're Nintendo fans in some sort of way, this is somewhere everyone wants to be. Uh, because there's only this one. This used to be the only one out there, and then they brought one in Japan. So I believe here in Japan, that is the only Nintendo stores out there. Uh, there might be a few more in other countries, but at least in America, this is it. So this is really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the channel, uh, enjoyed the video. Like, comment, backslash that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Uh, should I come back again in a few years? I don't know. I think when the next Nintendo console comes out, I'm really thinking about coming here around the time that that comes out. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.